the epic battle to defeat the mild trash shocker continues. Super focus. Man, they make jumping look so cool. <laughs> Damn, they might actually win this. How many points? Okay. Oh, thank you for that. Perfectly timed exposition. Everyone's always so focused on Kageyama. No appreciation for Sho and his awesome spike. There you go, there it is. Give Hinata some love. He deserves it. And he clearly wants it. He's obviously a great kid, but he's also a kid. I feel like there's only so much he can take of just being just flat out ignored. Some of this is just good old fashioned, healthy, natural desire to just climb as a human being to accomplish and to explore who he is. I feel like part of it, at least, is wanting to be significant. Episode five, a coward's anxiety. Who's the coward? No one we've seen so far. Oops. That's a look of pure fear and recognition. They're so focused on Hinata. Damn, they're really opening it up now. <laughs> this was pent up. That rage, that mild trash talking really got to him. And it's time to take a break for talking. <laughs> the longest volleyball match of all time. What's cool is that they're probably all going to be teammates. And again, once per episode, the ball in the face quota, at least. Everyone's clothes just coming off. Not sure who this is for, but I know it's not for me. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. He's gotta do a 56 inch vertical every time. Remember when we were fighting? Remember when we didn't like each other? I mean, he's not giving himself enough credit, no? He pretty much called this. He saw the potential. Even if he didn't realize the full extent of it. And Hinata's experience will only grow with time, obviously. They're only going to get better as they both practice and get more in sync. And they're just two pieces of the puzzle, too. There's a whole team to develop. A and a good sportsman. They just need a common opponent, just like Hinata and Kageyama. Not so good at... Mildly trash talking now, are you? That's such a loser attitude, pretending like it didn't matter. They didn't care. I don't think you need these applications. I think you're, you guys are good. I think they're good even if they lost. They care too much about winning. Yeah, they already had your stuff ready. <laughs> they had your uniforms. Maybe even with names on them. Looks pretty cool. They look great. They look awesome. So just four, huh? Just four incoming members? They're also humble. They keep underselling themselves. This dude literally got up at like the crack of dawn to let them practice early. I don't know what it is exactly. I don't know why they got so lucky. I mean, it was written this way. It was written for them to be great. But without even having developed them that much, they're already pretty amazing. I mean, they're really easy to like. And I've had the experience where for some reason, I just end up in a group of people, maybe by chance. I mean, it seems like chance. If it's not totally chance, it might be because there was something about that activity or place that drew like-minded people. But I've had the experience in my life in regards to workplaces where just for whatever reason, it was just a really solid crew. And there's some real magic that can happen when you have a lot of good people who are in sync together. And it doesn't even necessarily mean that everyone shows up is naturally great. A lot of times it just means there's just enough to work with. And then there's just a couple key people that serve as cornerstones that hold down the whole group and create the the energy it may or may not be true in this case but for me it, it seems like just really great leadership really great senpai that will create a backbone for these young kids who have so much energy and enthusiasm and passion to become truly great and make use of their maximum potentials i think if there are any qualities that seem to repeat in those situations it's perhaps a, a lack of selfishness of givingness of wanting others to succeed playfulness and common goals i talk about my first experience living in korea a lot. And there are a lot of reasons why it was a special time for me. Traveling, being in a new country, challenging myself, having new experiences, kind of reinventing myself in ways I liked. But the more I think about it, the more I realized that a big part of it was the crew I had that I was so tight with and got along so well with that no matter what happened around me circumstantially, I had that core base and was supported and always had something to look forward to and could be fully myself in all my craziness with people who just liked me. It maximized what I was able to do in that time period. And a lot of great things came out of that time for me. This is reminding me of that even if my experience was not sports related. <laughs> Take some credit, my man. They're ready to win this championship, like tomorrow. Oh, they're bringing the balls. 
Is this the next challenge arriving at our doorstep? There it is. <laughs> there are differences in attitudes. The challenges are interesting too. For Hinata, it might be some amount of being naive, but also there's something so beautiful about it. Why? That's oddly specific. Everyone wants a piece of Kageyama. So humble, so kind, able to step aside. Speaking of no selfishness, I mean, it's just an exhibition, right? So it, it's great practice either way. It's a great move, showing respect. Maybe he's a little bit too humble. Maybe that's part of his arc. Maybe this is the cowardice thing? Who's the coward? All the ones that hate him. What is this, some kind of weird, twisted volleyball revenge? It's one game. It's one game. This could quickly turn into one of those situations where the people who are right become the wrong, you know what I mean? People who hang on to the past and use it as a weapon. Classic volleyball club, always making trouble in the neighborhood. The stereotypical volleyball hooligans. There's something about this that's so cute and beautiful. Like eating together after practice. I don't even know how to explain it. I just feel it. Still? Come on. That's cool. Speaking of ha them having a common opponent, that happened quick. This keeps happening in this show. I'm like, they need this, and then it happens immediately, like in the same episode. I am you. I am you. Thank you for being here to explain this to me. He wants to be more than the decoy, though. <laughs> This all plays into the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's all about the team, right? <laughs> Idiots like Tsukishima. I think that it can be deceptive when watching sports. A lot of times the people who are really high performing end up being in that position because other people are taking the attention of the defense. So they can both be effective just depending on which way it goes and who the defense chooses to focus on. Any one person being dominant helps the whole the whole team. We don't need to block with offense like this. I've been thinking about that, honestly. I'm glad they addressed that. It just takes him a lot longer to get up there, even if he can get really high. It's a big obstacle to overcome. I think that, yeah, this is the uh, right the right attitude, I think. Exactly, exactly. He wants to win a championship, right? Ego aside, this is just to learn. <laughs> the kid's not lacking in confidence, though. There's a huge metaphor for life in there, too. One that I'm still struggling to learn in my old age. I feel like I'm always going for quick points. I'm always trying to win the, the day's battle. But that's super limiting if you're sacrificing long-term development. It's really hard for me to be patient. It's really hard for me to sacrifice my immediate desires and whims for a long-term outlook. But every time I've done that, the few times in my life I've actually been able to focus and think long-term as opposed to day-to-day, -to -day, or I should say exclusively day-to-day, -day, and incorporate both that and long-term thinking, has been really great. And it's one of those things that's easy to know, but tough to really incorporate. Just in general, I feel like it's so hard for that kind of long-term faith-based thinking to have as much resonance as the thing directly in front of you. It's a constant challenge, and I think people exist on a spectrum about how much they're able to do that, and it just does not come naturally to me at all. This is super relevant to me, which is probably why it comes to mind. Right now, I feel like I'm trying to get everything at once, all at once, and the result is not only me getting not everything I want, but I'm no closer to getting what I want, which is like a double whammy, because then it hurts. It's like, wow, that was a waste of time and energy. But I've been thinking a lot about it, and I'm hoping to take the steps I need to turn this around. Oh. There's more than one girl in this universe? And she threatened to ruin everything. <laughs> this guy's playing long-term chess. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. We don't talk about that, though. Us volleyball hooligans are in enough trouble as it is. This is a man with vision. Wow, indeed. I love the captain. He's so, so cool. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, in this case, Hinata. 
Maybe he actually is cracking a little bit. He'll be fine. Nerves and all, he'll be fine. I feel like it's one of those things that just goes away as soon as it starts. It's always worse when you're just in, in anticipation of it. Yeah, I mean, it's also, they're brand new to this. They gotta get settled in. It's like a new group of people, new habits, new challenges. I mean, almost all of the best experiences I've ever had. Even speaking of the, the same group of people I was talking about earlier in the video, the first week, let's say, or couple weeks has is always hell. It's like the worst time because I feel out of place. It's when you get your bearings and you realize you're not a total disaster that you have something to build on and then it becomes fun. It takes a while. <laughs> keep saying that, you keep saying that. I wonder what it means, big picture. It's very specific, that line. <laughs> I mean, that feeling is familiar. How many hours? How many hours of my life? Even in bed. Even in bed. A volleyball player needs his rest. Kageyama. I'm just right into it. This is great. You'd think he was Aang before <laughs> fighting Ozai. He's, he dreamt of 60-foot monkeys, lemurs, whatever Momo is. He'll be all right. He'll be fine. I got faith in the kid. Put him on the court. He might even be better for it, you know, for all this panic and anxiety. The first spike is going to be a relief because he can no longer think. It'll take him right out of this anxiety. Both my parents are musicians and there was a period in their life where they did a lot of performing. And I used to ask them, you know, don't you get nervous getting in front of a group of people? They say that that anxiousness never went away ever. My dad is a piano player and he said that he would even be thinking to himself before a piano performance and realize that he had forgotten everything that he had practiced. But then sitting in front of a piano, it's just different. And, you know, he's excellent. My mom actually loves that energy, she says. She says she feeds on that, finds it exhilarating. It's kind of weird, you know, even in low stakes things, I experienced that. I used to get nervous before every class as a teacher, literally every class. You know, I would do five or six classes a day for what, four years, five years? And literally every class, starting the class, was kind of painful. But then as soon as the class starts, it's like you just lose yourself in it, assuming you've done a, you know, a certain minimum amount of preparation. I can say the same thing for YouTube for that matter. I've done what at this point? 700, 800 videos? I don't even know. It's still weird to start a video, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think the point is to not have any fear about the thing. I think the point is just to do it anyway and have fun with it while you're in the process. And if you can do it once, it means you can do it again and probably even better than you did the first time. I mean, it's his first match in a long time. He might have jitters, but it'll be fine. And it'll bring them closer together.